Number 47, letter A. What is the efficiency of an out-of-condition professor who does 2.1 times 10 to the 5 joules of useful work while metabolizing 500 kilocalories of food energy? All right, so they're asking us for efficiency, so why don't we highlight this equation on the bottom right? All right, so it says that the efficiency right, is equal to the amount of useful work put out by a system divided by the amount of energy that was put into that system. So um, what would be considered, right, the useful work that was put out by this particular system called the professor? Well, the professor puts out this amount of work, right? And he consumes, or the energy that's put into his system is 500 kilocalories of energy. So we basically do know the two values here in our fraction, right? So now the only thing that we have to remember is the units, all right? So the efficiency, all right? We should have them in joules, but since it's basically a ratio, we just want to make sure we can keep it in kilocalories. That's not a problem. Um, but uh, we have to have you know, consistency between those units. So what I'm saying is if I put the 2.1 times 10 to the 5 joules in the numerator, I better have my energy value that went into the system also in joules down here. Okay, and you know it's probably just good practice, just getting used to, you know, always converting things to joules and whatnot. Just because in other, in other formulas, right, uh, like power formulas, the uh, work there has to be in terms of uh, joules. So let's take the 500 uh, kilocalorie value and convert that into joules. So we have 500 kilocalories, and to convert that into joules, we put kilocalories on the bottom, uh, joules on the top, right. And we know that there are, for every one kilocalorie, there's 4,184 joules. All right, so it's a simple straight multiplication. So 500 times 4184. And this works out to be about 2.09, 2.09 times 10 raised to the, looks like six. All right, and that's now joules. So this is the energy uh, put into the system, right? By the professor consuming that food energy. So this value on the bottom is 2.09 times 10 to the six, and that's also in terms of joules. Another thing is the efficiency can never be over one, right? So the numerator has to be either equal to or less than that of the denominator, All right? That's always a good check. So let's just do the division. So 2.1 times 10 to the five divided by 2.09 times 10 to the six. Yeah, it comes out to about 10%. Well, in terms of percent, but in terms of decimal here, it'd be 0 0.1, right? Zero, zero. All right, so that's the efficiency, point 0.1, which is basically 10%. So letter B, how many food calories would a well-conditioned athlete metabolize doing the same work with an efficiency of 20%? So basically, it's the same formula, right, as we used over here, just going to, we're just solving for a different variable. So let me put B over here. Let me put A over here. And for letter B, we have that the efficiency is equal to the work put out divided by the energy put in. Okay, so now in terms of which, uh, you know, of these two variables we're solving for, we are solving for the energy put into the system, the energy that the athlete is going to metabolize because it says that they're going to do the same work. All right, so let's now plug in our efficiency value of 20%. Remember, we got to convert it to a decimal, right? So that's 0.2, all right, zero. And notice that is a it is a 100% difference, right? We, we doubled it from the efficiency before. So now that should equal the uh, work put out, which is going to be the same, they said, going to do the same amount of work. So this is 2.10 times 10 to the fifth. And now it's going to be over now our x value there, right? So x will simply be just switch these two values. So x is literally 2.10 times 10 to the 5 divided by 0.2. All right, I'm just going to plug it straight into the calculator. So 2.1 times 10 to the 5 divided by point, uh, point 0.2. And we get a value of 1.05. Really, I should have probably two sig figs because that's what they gave me here. All right. So I'll do 1.1 times 10 to the, let's see, 3, 6. Times 10 to the 6. And now that is in terms of, I probably should, instead of calling this x, I should have just left it as e, just for energy, just so we don't get confused with what units we're solving for. So these, this is joules. All right. 
So now this would be the answer in joules, but they wanted to know how many food calories would we need to consume. So now we got to do go from joules here to kilocalories, right? So it's basically the same process as we did up here, just kind of backwards. All right, so 1.1 times 10 to the 6 joules. Now what I need to do, put joules on the bottom, kilocalories on the top, one kilocalorie for every 4,184 joules. And you can see now it's a division instead of a multiplication as it was before. So 1.1 times 10 to the 6th divided by 4,184 works out to be about 263, right? 263 uh, kilocalories. And that's what we should have expected, right? I said that the uh, efficiency went up by 100%, and therefore the energy needed to be put in to the system went down you know, by half. All right, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and look forward to helping you out with the next question. Take care.